We're just south of Portland, Oregon, in the little town of Dundee. The best Oregon grapes are all grown in hillsides, and so we're at the base of a hillside, and all the vineyards are up on the slopes. We grow the cool climate grapes, which are uh, Pinot Noir, uh, Chardonnay, uh, Riesling, Pinot Gris, um, Pinot Blanc. The two things that are critical to Pinot Noir are the center and a, and a long finish. The center is the most, I feel like, the most difficult thing to explain to consumers. When you put the wine in your mouth, you can get overwhelmed by the initial fruitiness or spiciness. You have a sense that there's just something missing in the middle. Well, if you can fill in that middle and make it, it's almost like a juiciness maybe, that's just golden. Any wine that has a juicy center, it's a, goal. it's a great wine. Making wine in the Northwest is the biggest challenge because our, every vintage is different. But every challenge is an opportunity. One cannot be a complacent winemaker in Oregon. Uh, one year will be very warm, one year very cold, one year dry, one year wet, or a mixture of all of those put together. And so you really have to think on your feet. And part of that is um, you have to get a mindset that requires you to be flexible in your, in your approach to each vintage. And what's really awesome is that you can take that uh, mindset of flexibility and put it to your life as well. We all know that our lives change radically sometimes, year to year, day to day, month to month. Um, and so why wouldn't winemaking be the same way? And so it, I think um, if I can be a good winemaker in a marginal region, Maybe it makes me a better person. Nuthouse comes from the fact that my little winery was a hazelnut drying plant. And we took the hazelnut drying equipment out, put the winery in. Uh, I figured it was once a nuthouse, it's still pretty much a nuthouse in there.